What led you to first becoming interested in business? I think a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. <laughs> I tried a lot of early uh, business endeavors with you know different companies, different people, and I, and I just think you know whether my mind was in it or not at that time. I, mean, I was a very young man, uh, 23, 24 years old when I was kind of first starting my first business adventures. And now, or now that I'm older and now I've seen so much, you know, so fast, uh, business now becomes more exciting. I think more so because of the team I have. But I just think the thought process on what we're trying to build is what really got me into business. What most excites you about the thought process? My duty, you know, not just being, you know, this successful football player, but also being a man that a lot of people leans on is to Okay, now I have to be more creative to create things that help people, like really help people. So you get a guy that's one, two year in the league, and I come to him and tap him on the shoulder and say, look, I want you to be a part of my group, you know? Because if you have something outside of football to focus on, you appreciate football better. And I think that's what my mentality of my whole business model is. You gotta help somebody. How did you decide which areas of business to ultimately get involved in? I, uh, I got with my partner, one of my partners, Mark Rosen, and I said, Mark, you know, I, I just, I'm really thinking about doing something business-wise, and I want to bring all of these businesses that I have, that I'm in contact with, and I want to bring them all together so we can all see one common goal. And so, you know, Mark was like, hey, that's a freaking awesome idea. So we emailed every business that we was a part of. And what we said was, we invited every one of them to my house. We sat around my table, everybody, every business sat around my table. I sat at the head. And every business has had five minutes or less to explain what they do and their relationship with me. Not just for me, but for the totality so we all can get it. And then at the end of it, I then spoke about my passion, about my vision on where I'm trying to go in life and what is the basic, basic concept of what I'm trying to do, you know? And that started to, this, this stayed on, this fell, this stuck, this dropped down. And, 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 and then I met, you know, uh, an incredible business partner of mine who then came the next day through one of those relationships, you know, and, and Bill Poster, who, who then the relationship, who then the relationship me and him had formed he took my mind on everything that we had going business-wise and this and that and said, this is good, that ain't good, let's do this, let's do that, let's, and that's how it happened. How eager do you find you are to learn when it comes to business? I think people get tired of me asking the questions because I, I want to know everything, you know, but I, I love to listen. Well, it's similar to football, though. I mean, <laughs> your <laughs> eagerness to learn from what I understand. I, I, I promise you, it really is, and, and now in business, I just sit back, man, I'm like a sponge. I'm like a sponge and I soak it up and I soak it up and I soak it up. And then of course, uh, with my, with the way, the kind of the way I live and think, then I put my own twist on it. Cause once I got the concept of it, I got it. Uh, how do you tie in what you're doing with the family of companies with the longtime charitable work and the foundation? Well, I think the, um, I think the charitable work is just purely what my heart speaks every day of my life. You know, I just truly believe one day we all have to leave this earth, you know, and there, there's something you have to be left for. You know? And that, for me, anything charitable or helping someone is what I want to be remembered by. And, and that's what I, so when you start with that component of it, then the business aspect just really rose, it's just another form of it, one way or another. You know, you're just really helping people in their situations to now give them jobs. And then they create this opportunity, they create this opportunity. And then it's just a domino effect, you know, to where everybody's helping everybody. But you bring people from places they never thought they'd come from. Oh, lots of people have visions. Lots of people start businesses, including many past former star athletes, very few are able to have success doing so. Why do you think you'll ultimately be able to achieve the goals? The business side of it will be successful if you make those people that you've influenced successful. That's my whole model in a nutshell. Influence someone to make this day a better day. But then even if you have more worries than you think you do, go help somebody else. If I'm ever concerned about failing in the business world or not, I don't think that's ever my concern.
because of the people that just I'm forming the relationships with just to even discuss business with, that alone, that alone is the next step to where we're trying to go.